Hello everyone, this is Night Sky and welcome back to the post-game series for my Pokemon Emerald playthrough. In the last episode, I demonstrated how to catch Latios with a modest nature, which you can only do directly after starting the post-game, and can only do with a Master Ball. If you don't have one, glitching or trading are your last options. And in this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch the Roamer without a Master Ball in case you want to keep yours for a shiny or don't have one. Or aren't comfortable using glitches to get more. It's gonna be more of a tutorial like episode because I did the storytelling already in the first post game episode. So, right when you start the post game, we have to go downstairs. And, oops, I'm looking at my notes. Hmm? Hey, it's Jason. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get, but your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh, yes, I have something for you. This came. <laughs> This came to you from someone named Mr. Briny. Yep, we got the SS ticket from Mr. Briny. We took it for a fairy, if I recall. There are four fairy ports in Slate Point and Lily Cove, so we can finally use the fairy in the post game. I better get back to Petalburg Gym. Mom, thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. That dad of yours. He comes home for the first time in a while, but all he talked about is Pokemon. You should relax and stay a little longer. Is that a breaking news story? We're bringing this emergency news flash. In various Hoenn locales, there's been reports of a colored Pokemon in flight. The identity of this Pokemon is currently unknown. We now return you to the regular movie program. Did you catch that? What color did the announcer say that Pokemon was? Oh, I lied. I did read all the text dialogue. Now, in this screen, whichever one you choose will generate your roamers, nature, and ivy as soon as you press A. I'm gonna choose blue for Latios in the demonstration since it is harder to catch, so... Boom. Our rumor is now generated. Well, isn't that something? There's still unknown Pokemon. And I'm gonna be quiet for this part since... I made a mistake reading the text dialogue in the last episode. I mean, in this episode, because I already did it last episode. This is pretty redundant. We've been upgraded to the National Pokedex. Luckily for this section, yep, we're now done. Okay, now for the roamer. Now that it's generated, it does have a formula for how it moves throughout the region. Let's go in our Pokenav. Now that our roamer is generated, it does have a formula for how it moves throughout the region. It is not important for hunting it though, so I'll just leave a note on screen if you're curious and you can pause. Now relevant to me, to catch it without a Master Ball, we'll need to catch 6 Wobbuffet from the Safari Zone and buy a few Revival Herbs from Lava Ridge. I have no clue how many I will need, so I'll be right back once I get the materials ready. Alright, so I got all the Wobbuffets, now it's time to buy the Revival Herbs because they are like Max Revives but they lower friendship but gonna be used on the Wobbuffets so it's not gonna matter to us. They can't even learn Frustration or Return anyways. Now how many am I going to buy? They're a bit pricey, 2800 and I believe Revives are 15. But I'm gonna play it super safe, 30? Mm. 20. 
Maybe 15 will be enough, I don't know. Okay, now once we have the Pokemon and Revival Herbs ready, we need to put... Or first we need to go to Route 110. Now the reason why we have a full team is so in case one faints we could just swap to another one where it also has Shadow Tag. Shadow Tag is Wobbuffet's signature ability in this generation prevents fleeing. So we'll trap the Roamer and we'll have plenty of Death Fodder to revive with our Revival Roots. We can't just breed more Wobbuffets because they'll be level 5 which can only take one hit. Now I'll be right back. I am going to save and see if we can get the Roamer to appear. Since our, lead, since our lead Pokemon is level 14 through 40, which is this level 27 Wobbuffet, we can only encounter Laudios if it roams here. So we're going to do the Repel trick like we did last episode, Max Repel. We're going to try to hunt Laudios. Make sure you save. Oh wait. Need to turn battle animations back on. Or just for fun. Oh, that quickly. Okay, so here's Laudios. Go Wobbuffet. It will always attempt to flee at a priority of zero, and if it does, it resets its power points from what I read on Bubblepedia. Since Wobbuffet has Shadow Attack, like I said, it cannot escape. If you have a Thunder Wave user with 116 or more speed, Switch to it because it guarantees a paralyzed Latios. And then after it runs, just hunt it again, like with the Rip Health trick. It will have Psychic, Luster Purge, Refresh, and Protect. So whatever attacking move it'll go for, we can mirror code it and damage it. But make sure make sure mirror code doesn't like hit it in more than two turns. We'll see how much it does. Wanna lower our special defense. Okay, so yeah, perfect range. I'll leave a note on screen on um, what you can do to paralyze this thing, but if your Pokemon has 116 or more speed, that guarantees to outspeed a 31 IV in speed and plus speed nature Latios. Now we have six Wobbuffets, perfect for <laughs> throwing endless Pokeballs at it. So <laughs> let's start the painful process. I mean, I could have used Guardian Specs to make sure Luster Perch doesn't get that 50% chance to lower special defense. Because Guardian Specs prevents stat drops. And since we're facing a legendary Pokemon, it's fair game for me to use, even though it's a bag item. Our lead Wob Wobbuffet is down. Now let's pretend we're down to our last Wobbuffet. We just go to in. If we just go in our bag and use the the OP Revival Herbs, a very bitter herb that revives a fainted Pokemon to full HP. And that's all there is to it. We get how many more? Ever, how we get however many more free hits Latios decides to give us. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna mute my mic until we get it in an Ultra Ball. And if we somehow failed, we'll just soft reset. No way, what? Three Ultra Balls? How many was that? Wait a minute. I s- Bro. That felt way too easy. <laughs> I was I was ready to sit here and use all 48 Ultra Balls because on one of the Regis- I swear it took me 
60 Pokeballs. I don't remember. <laughs> Even in hiding. Okay, no. Latios, the Eon Pokemon. Even in hiding, it can detect the locations of others and sense their emotions since it has telepathy. Its intelligence allows it to understand human languages. Very special trait this thing has. Give a nickname to the captured Latios? No, thank you. Latios was transferred to Lynette's PC. It was placed in box 14. Wow, that was freaking easy. <laughs> I didn't need to torch myself catching, torture myself catching the rest of the Wobbuffets. They have such a low catch rate, but we needed them. Because we can't just breed for it, otherwise it'll be level 5. What nature do we get? Careful, what a crappy nature. Minus special attack plus special defense. And Latios is the best special attacker for the battle frontier. So yeah, that's how you catch the rumor without a Master Ball. You just need some Wobble Fist from the Safari Zone, Repels, Revival Herbs, and whatever Pokeball you want to catch it in. That's gonna be it for the episode today. Thank you all for watching in the next episode. I will be getting into a lot more stuff we can do after starting the post game. now that the most immediate quest is out of the way, so I'll see you all next time.